underway. Welcome. I have a trailer behind me. Wow. Picked it up in Steinbach. Got to bring it all the way up to Winnipeg Beach today. I don't know if I've ever actually been to the town of Winnipeg Beach before. I can't remember. Maybe I'll recognize it when I get there. Winnipeg Beach is up around the Gimli area. Uh, further up north, north of the city. That's about an hour and a half drive from Steinbeck here. It's not like it's that far away. It's not that far. Yeah, we're pulling this trailer up there. We just gotta drop it there and bobtail back. So it's a pretty simple morning morning assignment. And this afternoon they said that they've already got a bunch of other stuff for me to do lined up, which is typical because it's Friday. Fridays always seem to be a little bit of a gong show. But that's okay, because what comes after Friday? Oh, you know the answer to that one? Saturday. A better day. This weekend, uh, not too sure what's planned yet. I think Britt is working Saturday and Sunday, but Monday she has off. I also have Monday off. Uh, we've got a bank appointment. We've got uh, a few other things and errands to get done during the day. We're trying to get everything done on Monday that we need to get done. Because there's a lot of these things you need to get done. They have to be done during the week, on weekdays, Monday to Friday during business hours, right? But when you work Monday to Friday during business hours, it's hard to get these things done sometimes. So you sort of wait until you've got a, a few things to do that'll take a full day, and you get them all done, right? Hopefully we can get them done. Gotta go see our bank. Uh, change things up there a little bit more. I wanna transfer my RRSP from where it is now to where I would like it to be. I wanna sort of consolidate everything to make it a little bit easier. We have a lot of accounts all over the place, different credit unions and banks. Why? I don't know why. We gotta pay fees on all of them, so that's kinda silly. We're gonna consolidate them all into one so that we're not paying so many fees into all these different accounts. And make it all a little simpler for us. Streamline it, if you will. We'll worry about that on Monday. For now, I gotta get this box behind me all the way up to Winnipeg Beach. I wonder if they have a beach in Winnipeg Beach. I bet they do. We're here in Winnipeg Beach. And it turns out there is a beach on the lake. Right over there. Beautiful, eh? Looks like an ocean. It's just a freshwater lake. <sighs> Beautiful little town, though. I know a guy who lives in this town somewhere. Not sure where, but it sure is a nice little spot. It probably gets pretty busy in the summertime with uh, cottagers and people going to... Uh, the beach and stuff. Winnipeg Beach, I knew there had to be a beach. The town's name is Winnipeg Beach. So we got our trailer here all dropped, ready for whatever they needed for, and I have instructions to bobtail back to the yard. So I'll take you for a little ride through town here. It's not a very big town.
like this, I'd want to be out on the lake all the time. I'd have to have a boat. How cool would it be to live that close to a big lake like that? Out in Steinbach, there's no lake anywhere nearby. I mean, there's St. Malo Lake, but you can't go boating on that. We go with Falcon Lake, I guess, about an hour and a half away. Imagine just like walking out your door and just down the street and you're at the beach. That'd be amazing. I can't remember the last time I was here. I know I've been here before. It's nice to come up and visit these small towns every now and then. Keep up with what's going on in, the, in our own province. made it back and we have a, a special assignment this afternoon I'm picking up poles uh, 75 foot poles so those are pretty long this is I believe a 53 foot trailer but it stretches in the middle here it splits and it stretches out I don't know how long it stretches out but uh, I'm gonna figure out or get a quick training lesson on this trailer before I leave. And uh, I'm gonna pick up our poles. That's pretty neat, eh? There's a good lesson for you. When a trailer's not long enough for the freight, no problem. Just stretch the trailer, make it longer. Easy fix, right? Easy fix. So I just talked to Bill, he's gonna come in. Give me a quick crash course on this thing. Slider pins, it must be this. I think that'll be it and then those locks should. Emergency brake release. I think that's what it does. It's all air. It's all uh, done with air anyways. It's sort of like sliding the axles on a van trailer. Except this, you're just sliding the whole trailer. Like two thirds of the trailer three quarters of it right from here Gotta call into the office now. If I'm picking up 75 foot poles. Brendan was helping me out here, uh, showing me how to stretch it out. I guess Bill's a little caught up with whatever he's doing, but uh, Brendan showed me how it worked. We got it working there and uh, told me just to make sure that I don't need a pilot car to get out of there. <laughs> I don't think I do, but I better make sure. And we're off for my first over-length stretch load. Kind of excited about this. Something new again. There's so many different things that we do and different types of freight that we hold. I love the diversity of it. Yikes. That's a lot of big poles. Gotta figure out which ones are mine. All right, so he's off to go get my poles. Apparently there's four of them. 
two of two different kinds. I've got to stretch this thing out. So the way this works is just this simple little lever here. Pull that out. What that's going to do is it's going to suck in these pins that hold it in place here. And now all I got to do is drive forward and spike the trailer and it'll stretch it out. Seventy five feet plus the tractor. Doing our stretches on Friday. It's time. Quarter to three, almost rush hour on a Friday, and I'm pulling like probably a hundred and twenty foot unit through the city. Hooray! This should be fun. I can get around these corners. My turn for a car wash. Nice. It was high time to wash that pickup. Again, showing up to work on Friday and then with a little bit of a dusty truck. But don't worry, I was able to sneak out the back so nobody saw me. <laughs> uh, so I'll have to polish it up this weekend. Uh, like I said, we have Monday off. We have a bunch of uh, errands to run, things to do. I'd like to work on our land a little bit. I'll probably be able to shine her up then a little bit. It's supposed to be a pretty nice day on Monday. Britt has the day off too, so uh, uh, we'll enjoy the day off together and uh, go out and do couple things, like work on land. <laughs> probably not. We're probably going to figure something else out as well. Hey, Diesel. 
Hello. What's this on your face here? What'd you do? What's this? What's that? What's that right there? What's this? Oh, is that a smile? Is it a smile with that tattoo? Smile! Ha ha ha! Made you smile, man. <laughs> Chevy, did you take a ch chunk out of his lip here? What's going on? Don't look at it! Don't look at it! Nothing, it's a beauty mark, man. Look at you, eh? Tough guy. Tough guy. What's all this gray hair here? It's my wisdom hair. Leave me alone. I'm having my retired nap. Retirement must be good. Look at you. Chevy! Where's all your gray hairs? Where's all your wisdom hairs? Eh? I'm still working on it. Oh, hey, Wiener. You want to be part of the vlog, too? How's it going? Hey. Hey, say something clever. Uh, hello? Good one. Good. Very clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. Chevy, how's your day been going? Where's the commander? <gasps> Enjoying the good life. Commander. How's the Federation? No? They can't hear you when you talk like that, you know? Can't transmit that through the camera. Uh, he says all things are swell. And big things are coming. Hmm. I think we're all aware of that by that. By this point, something big's coming. Hey! Chevy! Ho 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 ho! Look how guilty he looks. I'm so sorry I went on the bed without permission. I will let it slide. I will let it slide, but you should not be jumping on the bed without permission. Okay, even when mom's not home. She's at work right now, okay? The rules still apply. Right? Most of them, yeah, right? Some of them do. <laughs> it's gonna be your birthday. What are we gonna do for your birthday? What do you want to do? <gasps> should we ask them? What should we do for your fourth birthday? You think they got any good ideas? Anyways, thanks for tagging along today, everybody. It was a bit of a fun day, something new again. Uh, that uh, stretch trailer was pretty cool. Something to get used to, though, going around the corners like that, but... It's going up to uh, uh, Western Manitoba. Got to deliver those poles out there for some kind of some kind of job site and job works. Obviously, uh, well, and they're poles. You know what they're for? They'll put them in the ground. Seventy-five feet. So a third of that right has to go into the ground. So it'll probably be like the the height of like a hydro pole or something, or like an electrical pole or something. Where do you find that many trees though, right? Like that's a lot of poles. And those things are everywhere. When you drive across the country, like electric poles that carry the electric lines and phone lines and everything, millions of them everywhere. Wonder how long they last. Cause it's obviously treated wood, right? Wonder how long they last and where they get them from. Cause those 75, that means that tree was 75 feet, like bigger than 75 feet tall. It's impressive. And Winnipeg Beach is a nice, beautiful little town. Shout out to my friend that lives there. Hope you're having a good weekend. And for the rest of you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. You know, typical YouTube stuff just to help the channel out. Uh, share it with your friends if you like. Chances are they might like it too. If they've never seen a stretch trailer like that, it's called a trombone trailer. Go ahead and ask them, have you ever seen a trombone trailer before? And when they tell you, what? Show them my video. Yeah. There you go. Homework for you on the weekend. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later.